the viewers and appreciate you watching. Today in this video, we're going to be crushing the cars that's on our yard. But first, I want to uh, speak a little bit about um, the vehicles that we have. As you can see here, this is the box truck that was on its roof that Wilbert, Caleb, and Sean recovered. And a viewer commented, we must charge a fortune to, um, because it took us so long. Well, you know, zero from a fortune is still zero if you don't get paid for it. But as you can see, there's going to be quite a few vehicles that you'll recognize on here. Um, you'll see the, the ham trailers on here. The case tractor, which I'm walking towards now. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. There's a dog right here. That's part, right? It's right there. But as you see over here, we got the uh, the case tractor that got hit probably a year and a half ago or so. Um, stuck with it, that RV. That was being towed down the road with a tow rope. The rope broke. Uh, we didn't video that one, but uh, the people that were towing it just uh, left it in the road. So... You know, had to send a heavy duty wrecker out to get it or medium duty. You know, and we bring it back here, but all we're going to end up once we do all the paperwork and run it through the court system, you know, that's, this is what we get left with. As you see, it has no motor, no transmission, nothing, nothing in it. So it really probably doesn't even have any weight to it to amount to anything but it takes up a lot of room we have to sit on it probably for usually about four months four to five months is what it takes us to run our paperwork through to get a master its bill of sale and, uh, then we can dispose of it there's another law that you can go another route and if it's over so many years old that you can dispose of it but uh, I prefer going through the court system and that way I've, I've notified all the owners, lien holders of everything that we have. So if, um, if there's any questions, I've been doing due diligence to try to track them down so that i uh, notify them that we have the vehicle in case they want to pick it up as long as they pay the tow bill and storage. But uh, I'll be right back with you when the crusher and uh, I meant when the excavator and everything gets here, so hope you guys enjoy this video.
check out the video flame broiled hams to see all the equipment we had to rent out to recover this trailer. We had roll offs, excavators, we had our skid steer, land all, and several uh, laborers. Hey viewers, as, as you can see, uh, they got the excavator in here and they starting to uh, get ready to crush some of these cars. He's All right, and he's mashing them down. took the battery out of that car and picked it up and slid it, picked up the battery with it. Yes, sir. How about you? All right. I was videoing you picking them. That was pretty cool. <laughs> picking them little batteries up with that. Y'all got to take all the batteries out of them, too? I didn't know that. Yeah, I had one, one of them with about spark on it. Oh. Uh, they got the fire going fast. Right. <laughs> they got the, the spike coming, and then y'all be ready to load? Yes, sir. I just getting ready, just trying to get the batteries out. If I'd have known that, I'd have had them ripped out when we cut all the converters off. There's all the converters that we could reach, you know, that right in the open, we went ahead and ripped out. So right, right, right. So y'all should just, I reckon, punch a hole in the gas tank, and I counted up the aluminum rims. Jake said, "Do the rims." Yes, sir. Yeah. And then he will. Uh, he'll probably give you a little more for the rims. Right. Uh, I'll throw you a hole for batteries, man. Yeah, I throw them on I mean, unless y'all y'all buy them too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got pallets of them inside, so <laughs> if, if it, yeah, I mean if y'all want all them, I'll I'll let them all go. Yeah, on those, uh, uh, he'll buy them in uh I wanna say they just a regular, you know, Joe Blood customer like uh, twenty seven pounds. 
Right. If you if you let me know, I can, I mean I got pallets in this shop and my other shop. I'll dig them out. What y'all put them on a trailer or something, or a dump truck? I'll probably put them in the back of one of the big trailers. Like okay. Yeah, if he if, if he wants them, tell him to let me know and I'll I'll start digging them out if I have to tow them out. So. Jake should be back. When you think the trailer will be here? Uh, to get the uh, first load, he's supposed to bring my my brother. He's supposed to. He should be here in for at least less than an hour. Okay. Uh, where you get your little camera at? I bought it off the internet. Oh uh, really? Yeah. You used we, it driving the truck. Well, we got a little YouTube channel, and, uh, uh, and we've been posting them on there. So you don't mind me putting you on there, do you? <laughs> I know we got some stuff we've loaded up and carried to y'all on there. Yeah. Uh -huh. You own that? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a little something different than yeah, always cool. towing and recovery. This is they get to see what uh what happens to the vehicles that we get stuck with. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you get back to work. When you start uh, when you start spiking, I'll probably get a little bit more video and put on there. All right.
pretty smart there. He took the took the skid steer track and made him a big broom. Okay, this ain't his first rodeo. As you see, that's one load. There ain't, there ain't nothing sticking up over the top. Okay, viewers, as you saw in the beginning of this video, a lot of these cars were cut up. And as y'all know, I donate a lot of them to the fire department so they can cut them up for training. But we appreciate you watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share. And if you like our content and channel, please subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there and we'll catch you on the next one.